Not seeing it. Yeah. Hello, Mitchell. Hello, Dave. How are you? Oh, I'm good. What are you doing? Fuck, man. Just um, enjoying the cardboard filled house that I'm <laughs> yes. dealing with. I noticed the uh, excess cardboard. So yeah, got the new fucking workbench. Set that up the other night. Good. Buying new stuff. Well, That's yeah. always a good thing. Buying new shit. Just, um, you know me, blowing money fast. Oh. <laughs> I'm fucking so rich. And obviously, I'm just spending sad party money. That's all we yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. All our right. the, the millions we rake in. Guess what happened to me Saturday night? Oh yes, you have a few sto- you have a few stories for me, don't you? I, I have one story which you'll appreciate. Let's hear it. Saturday night, I'd gone to bed because it's Saturday night, and that's what I do because I'm 105. And um, uh-huh. Haley woke me up, and she goes, "The dog's having a seizure." I was like, "Oh, oh dude, that's so hot." And what? <laughs> and um, she wakes me up. I went out there, and the dog's like, she's gritting her jaw really hard. She's like leaned against the couch, and she pissed everywhere, and she's all like, "How's your dog? Your dog's not even old." Uh, she's not even old. She's like six. Yeah. And um, wait, she's so she's pissing. She she pissed on the carpet and stuff. She never oh, does that. And she's obviously, just like, so you're rubbing her nose in it. At that yeah, point. exactly. But <laughs> she's just like poor dog's like season out and she's freaking out and she's real jittery and that sort of stuff and I'm like what the hell's going on and um like looking around it looked like she'd been poisoned or something like that and I'm like, I don't know what's going on so Haley called up the 24 hour vet and they go oh um yeah bring her in we'll have a look at her yeah and um so I grabbed like a sample of her dog food and that sort of stuff just to like show the doctor in case he's like oh she's uh, reacting to just something just in case you like think you're feeding her like what yeah, anything else yeah. like grass oh, or fucking... oh, and I brought in the rat sack that I've been feeding yeah. as well. <laughs> no, but I um, took her into the vet and she's like freaking out in the car and whimpering and, and um, complaining. And I felt sorry for her because she's like she was really Obviously freaked a out. Dog, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then got to the vet and um, brought her in. And when I brought her into the vet, this is like midnight. She's walking around and she's just like looking up at all the lights and that sort of stuff. And the vet starts laughing at me, and he goes. He goes, your dog's high as a kite. And I said, what are you talking about? What and I'd, fuck? I brought in some samples of stuff that was in our backyard. Like there's some mushrooms that had grown in the backyard. And there's been a thing lately about um, some poisonous mushrooms growing in yards. I yeah. thought maybe she's eating one of those. He held it up and he goes, this is a psilocybin mushroom. because it's a magic mushroom. He goes, look at your dog's pupils. And the dog's <laughs> pupils were just like saucers. They were huge. Wait, have you got more? <laughs> no. <Nah>. Uh. <laughs> but like... She's walking around in the um, in the vet clinic. Wait, so your dog's on mushrooms yeah. in the fucking vet? She's walking around, looking at the off. lights. Are you fucking making this up? I'm 100% serious. She's walking around staring what at the, the lights fuck? and sniffing everything and then just leaning against me and just staring up at the lights <laughs> on the roof. And her pupils are just massive. And the vet goes, yeah, she's just high as a kite. That's and he's insane. Like, he's like, is it yours? Or no, well, me and the missus are both non-drinkers, non-druggers and that sort of stuff. Like, we haven't touched him for this, but... The dogs, the dogs, <laughs> the dogs. Yeah. So, um, me and the vet were just going off on a tangent. I said, I'm going to go home and make her some nachos and put on some Ren and Stimpy for her and that sort of <laughs> stuff. But, um, yeah, the dog was just completely high as a kite. And That's fucking yeah, insane. so went Holy home shit. and got rid of the rest of the mushrooms that had grown in the backyard because, um, like you sold them or <laughs> nah, not quite. I should wait, make a bit of extra coin. Huh? Yeah. So your God, your, your God has seen dog. Wait, your dog has seen God. Dog has seen God. <laughs> Yeah, so, so existential. Yeah, and so she was just completely wasted, and we were, um, the doctor gave us this activated charcoal. Also, stuff pretty cool when you have um, mushrooms and seizure on the couch. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, super cool. <laughs> and, and piss on the floor. Exactly. Well, I think it's just a normal Saturday night, right. and there's nothing like being on mushrooms and having your nose rubbed in piss. <laughs> <laughs> at least you get more of the residual mushrooms. <laughs> and um, yeah, so that was a quite an interesting Saturday Fine, night. Man. And, yeah, the dog was... At least one of you guys were partying anyway. Yeah, so we went home and me and the dog just listened to Pink Floyd all night. And... <laughs> but yeah, so that was a, that was yeah. a little bit interesting. That's, That's a very good story. Dog. Yeah, it was, it was a bit special. Very actually. interesting. So, yeah. yeah, so other than that, nothing really exciting has happened. Nothing, that's it. That's fucking all That's got. it, yeah. So, you brought in. so anyway, this is a sad party and um, let's go home. <laughs> Could be better than my notes. I've got um, why do rappers always stand on shit, which makes no sense. Yeah. Oh, I horrified myself the other day. Because cause I've got the three kids. The oldest one, he's got a couple of grown-up teeth. He's got like five or six grown-up teeth. Yeah. And the middle one, he's about to start getting some grown-up teeth. And the little one has just got his two first baby teeth. So I made a point. I actually wanted to make a point of Googling this and showing you the pictures while we're recording. I made the mistake of Googling baby teeth x-rays. Huh? Because I'd never really thought about this. But you know how when kids are... 
kids to have the baby teeth, and the big teeth grow and push the baby teeth out. Yeah. I've never really thought about the fact that all the adult teeth are in, in there, there with the. Oh, what the fuck! Yeah. I'm gonna hold up to the camera. Show. Look, but that's all... fucking disgusting, dude. I know, and I'd... kids I was... are fucking gross. I'm sitting there at home looking at Ugh. these three horror shows of kids in my house and just what the fuck's out. in your face? I know. And I thought, oh, maybe that one's an anomaly, like the like TV, disease, like some sort of fucking. Yeah, that's actually how it works. Look at that one. Oh, yeah, dude. it's horrific. And I'm sitting. Is there... that one the jaws always break when you hit them? Yeah, it is. <laughs> but, like, I didn't realise how weird and crowded it was. And the fact that, like... Um, and then I started Googling more stuff. And there was a kid <laughs> who had an extra 526 teeth in his mouth. Oh, that's too yeah, many. All the teeth that that's formed in his up. mouth. And it's horrific. But <laughs> but even just in general, the fact that... Um, the fact that... How the fuck did I never know that? Never, I've never like, heard that like in that my whole like years. All of, their big teeth are there down inside the jaw. Like, gross. So I'm looking at my kids. I'm holding Oscar, who's eight months old. And I didn't even think about this one. He's just got his baby teeth. His adult teeth wouldn't have started forming yet. But I didn't realise... I should probably know this after having three kids. But all their baby teeth are already there. It's all just covered by gums. It's you like know, in they, their nose, man. Yeah. It's cr- gross. And Ugh. all the... Um, so I was thinking about it. I was looking at it. And I'm like... If you sliced his gum and lift it up, all the teeth are there. Like, they have all their oh, teeth. Oh, so you can just get it done early. Oh, yeah. You can just drop the gum. <laughs> just... Get a little Oscar with a full fucking, a full smile yeah. going at one. Yeah, that's like the, the goose that laid the golden egg. Like, you cut open the goose to get the egg instead. But, oh, it was it was horrific. And I'm, I had the most uncomfortable feeling sitting there just looking at the kids and going... Just knowing you're something out of a fucking well, alien movie. Knowing that my two oldest ones, because the, the middle one, he's about to start getting his adult teeth. I'm like... He's probably got forty-five or fifty teeth in his mouth, at the, in his head at the moment, but they're all just down in the jawline. It just oh, it really so creepy. It creepy. Is it lumpy? No, because it's inside the jaw. Like every every human goes through that stage. Yeah, I've had that before. Yeah, I just had never thought about it. I'd never, you know, like I like medical stuff, and I've always googled things. I'd never googled how baby teeth go. You just go, oh yeah, kids have little teeth, and then the little teeth get pushed out by the big teeth come through. I never really thought about. The big teeth are there and formed. Be- not not already, like they would form, but they've got to be formed before it pushes the old teeth out. So at one stage, oh, they've got oh. like 50 teeth. Yeah, it would really creep me out. Sad party fucking medical podcast today. <laughs> and I just couldn't, I couldn't stop looking at my kids and thinking, they've got like, where's my four-year-old? He's got a little head, but he's got an adult-sized set of teeth in there outside of his normal Like teeth. a... Um... Like a horror mask. Thing. Yeah, like a horror mask. That's it's fucking just, terrifying. It's just horrible. Yeah, so I had... That was my Sunday night. Kids are fucked, so I'm going to book my vasectomy. <laughs> exactly. I was sitting there, Haley. I'm like, I'm going to go out Actually, in the garage now that. with a I'm screwdriver gonna... and just make nothing work ever again. I'm going to save some money. I'm going to fuck my microwave. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah that, that makes sense. Yeah. But I just couldn't... I couldn't get over that that was normal. I thought I'd looked up some horror show thing. Yeah. That's just how... Baby teeth and adult teeth. Fucking the more you know. Uh, See, I hadn't learned something today until now. Yeah. Well, still haven't learned anything. You've learned that kids are horrific. Kids are fucking gross. <laughs> it was just disgusting. I just... I didn't... I had never really thought about how it worked. So, so just throw Oscar straight in the bin? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's Definitely, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, everyone should just Google baby teeth x-rays. <laughs> it was just... Ooh. Yeah, I don't know. And I just... I don't know. <laughs> it's gross. So, yeah. so yeah. So what have you been doing? Well, I've been riding, um, trying to get this house sorted. Yeah. We knocked down a bunch of trees in the backyard. Good. A lot of them hit the house and the shed. Ready for a track? Bit of... Huh? Ready to build a track in the backyard? There's probably not enough room. Yeah, it's heaps of room. Well, there's heaps of room. I mean, it could be like a... 50 track. A 110 track. Maybe. Yeah. Do it. I don't know. I haven't got time, man. I fucking have to get dirt and shit. I have time. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> Didn't have a good time for nothing. <laughs> Yeah. Um, fucking. Uh, what else? What's been happening? I rode my bike. Did you? Oh, I rode, did you ride? The other I, rode, I rode my bike last weekend for the first time in close to two years. How'd you and go? It was awesome. It was really good. Lovely. Had absolute Lovely. ball. Felt comfortable straight away. And you know, the tight stuff that I like riding—the real tight tech sort of things. Yeah, yeah. Um, the, sh- the stuff that fucks your hands up and yeah, like good shit. Yeah, there's um, there's a track at Nearham that some people built some single line stuff. They call it Kokoda Track, and it's a Full hell mission, and, and it was awesome. The, it's for the Anzacs. Yeah, exactly. Hell and yeah. it's a full hell mission to do it, and like these crazy valleys and that sort of stuff. And got to the end of it, 
out right at the end, sitting there going, oh, good, oh, yeah, we got through that, that's awesome. It's like a 45-minute mission to get through there. As I went to take off, went to start my bike, snapped the kickstart shaft off. Power move. Yeah, and I was like... Is that because your leg weighs 100 kilos? Yeah, exactly. But, you're just a fucking solid <laughs> log of tree. A lump. But <laughs> if that had happened in that area, I'd still be there a week later. Like, there's no way I could have pushed my bike out. out. No way. How did you snap a kickstart lever off? The shaft. Kickstart shaft. Oh, the actual shaft snapped. The shaft snapped. snapped, yeah. And it just happens every now and again. They're hollow. It's a 14 mil sh- uh, 18 mil shaft, but it's hollow. Ooh. And then because it's got a hole where the spring goes through, it's got it a weak point. So there all the time. Yeah, so I've got a new one and I fit it to the bike, but I'm going to pull it out and turn up a bizzoloy shaft to push down so it's not stronger. So it doesn't happen again. Because I don't go. want that happening again. No, it fucking sucks. Because <laughs> it's like a $300 shaft too. So yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, so I, it was good, Brian. It was awesome. Hell yeah. Mm, felt really good. Because I was, you know, I said last time like I was going to sell my bike and do something else and I'm like I'm not selling this this thing's no, too fun yeah. hell yeah that's good exactly good shit yeah I rode a couple of times this weekend oh really enjoying the long weekend for Queen's birthday oh, happy yeah. birthday yeah. fucking happy birthday oh, Freddie Mercury you old duck yeah fucking <laughs> <laughs> love the Queen man and um, R.I.P. the Queen yeah where'd you ride um I built a track uh I did like some mods to my buddy Craig's track out at Cockatoo yeah um so it's been riding there and yeah. just doing like cheers, a cheers tune- the invite well cheers. fuck mate Cheers. What do you want from me? I don't know. Invite, maybe? An invite. <laughs> yeah, actually, fuck, could come today. Yeah. Ah, next so time. So I invited to my mate, um, Kevin Mack, to come out. Yeah. And he's a dumb piece of shit, and I love him, but he also <laughs> cancelled. Ah. Uh, so, you know, pretty I usual, usual yeah. flake activity from him, so that's fine. Yeah. Um, I'm going to grab some water. Yeah, keep talking. Do you want to grab me? Fin- oh, actually, did you happen to go to the ATM today? No. Nah. This is why I'll fucking never lend you 50 bucks again. <laughs> You're the worst. Why are you drinking that? I've got bottles of water. What? Why There's are you plenty, drinking that shit? Plenty of water out of the hose over there. Yeah. The sink hose. Dude, you get, um, they've got fucking chlorine in, in that. Good. That's why I like it. Fucking renegade. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so it was a good track. Awesome. Yeah, it was really yeah, good. awesome. Super fun. So, um, read that. Built a new BMX as well. Finally got that done. Good. Have I showed you a photo of it yet? No. Do you want to see it? Okay. I'll give you it like... I saw bits and pieces of an old bike. Two seconds. There. Yeah, I had an old bike there. Yeah. Um, it's just a... Um, Credence MOD thing. That's Sick. A, it's a very pretty bike. Yeah, it's a very pretty bike. Pretty. Um, no brakes as well. I've been riding brakeless. Yeah, you were saying that. That was fun. That's good. Bit of sketty. That's fine. And also, it <laughs> looks cooler and also... Makes you commit... <laughs> Yeah, you don't have a choice. Like, <laughs> yeah, also, we haven't got that bitch stick on the handlebars to slow down. Oh, and I read um, the pump track today. Yeah. And there's, there's a lot of people in there. I've never seen so many people at a. Actually, Cockatoo pump track is fucking going off, and I'm yeah. very proud of my hometown. Oh, good. Dude, what there's that many people there. It was insane. That's I've good. never seen, like, anything like it since, like, maybe back in the day when they used to have, like, jams at the Cockatoo Bowl. Yeah, I, I remember going to one of those jams. So, Dude, it's so funny. So yeah, fun, but yeah, awesome. it was super cool to see. Is there any that many people? Other lines you can do in the pump track, like dude, there's so many. Oh, good, everywhere. Yeah, that's what I think. Like, like how, like when I rode um, uh, Aki's backyard motocross track, like there's the motocross track, but then you can do lines like gapping from one thing to another and that sort of stuff. Yes, yeah, so it's like yeah. you know, like um, they have two box jumps and you go like box jump to berm, then you can go like. There's it lines everywhere, and they're like mm. berm to berm transfers, like there's shit everywhere. It's sick. <laughs> it's so fun. Good. Yeah, I'll have to come out and have a play. You feel like a beast out of it, dude. Yeah, well, let me know next time you go out there. I'll bring the. I'll bring dude, I was going out, literally out there today. Oh, well, cheers for the invite once more. <sighs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> I would have brought Max out there, he would have had a ball. Well, next time, I'll yeah. probably ride some BMX next weekend, so we'll yeah, get into it. So we need to start taking the brakes off your dirt bike, too. I already did. They're gone. My brother rode for about three or four months with no front brakes on a dirt bike. That was interesting. Why? Yeah, you know, and the sort of riding we do like out in the bush. Is that just due to like, he busted his front master. Was it brake disease? Of course it was. No, he's just an idiot. He busted his front master cylinder and just would just get drunk and then go, yeah, I'll come for a ride tomorrow. Oh, I hadn't replaced it and just ride anyway. But <laughs> I'd, he'd scrub off speed downhill the way you scrub off speed on a snowboard. Like he would oh, brake slide yeah. side to side downhill in the like tight off-road stuff. It was so interesting. He had some massive crashes because of it, but um, yeah, rode no front brakes for like three That's or four so months. so fucking sketchy. <laughs> it was so ghetto. But, ah, it's good. Fuck, man. Mm. Is there anything else exciting? Well, shit's popping off, man. Yeah. 
You know, the coronavirus okay. is finished now. Yeah. Everyone's fucking marching. Well, I'm sick of the traffic. I, I just really wish the coronavirus would come back. I'm sick. Of, that I'm is sick. the thing, isn't it? Yeah, I'm Dude, sick the of traffic, traffic sucks now. Yeah, I fixed a piano today. Huh? Yeah. Um, I'm hey. not, sure, not sure if I told you last time. You know, I've got the piano that the kids play and that sort of stuff, like the Casio yeah. keyboard. Um, they were wrestling and messing around and knocked the keyboard over, and Max fell on it as knocked over and busted the um, the power input on the back of the keyboard. So today I had to get my electronics on and I like pulled the whole yeah, keyboard yeah, apart and like the circuit board inside it, I fixed it with like surgical glue and that sort of stuff and stripped back all the, like, you know, they got, you know, you see like an electric cir- circuit board. It's got the thin the little flat wires, wires yeah. um, like scraped all the plastic back from that and then resold the joins because it had broken the circuit board. It actually worked fine. So, Oh really? Good saving, yeah. saving another 600 bucks to buy another keyboard. So. Oh, yeah. Also, did you yell at the kids? Oh yeah. They got Hell yeah. Yeah, exactly. And, um, Hell move. And you remember last time I was here, I said I was feeling crappy? No, I don't listen to you. Yeah, I figured that. But I was no, feeling... you had to remember, yeah. <laughs> to remember that. I ended up losing my voice completely for like a few days and that sort Fuck, of stuff. Fuck, mate, you missed us between stars. <laughs> exactly. Was Hayley, how happy was Hayley? Yeah, she was, she was wrapped. Fuck, did she but then, so wrapped? But what the problem was, then I was at home because I was crook, so I was around her all the oh, time. you didn't get to work. And because and I'm not good at being sick. Is so you grunting at her? I'm okay at being... grunting at her the whole time. <laughs> I'm okay, I'm okay at being injured. I can deal with injuries, but being sick, I can't help but being a sook. So, um... You get, like, the man... The man you get bit, your bitch out. Yeah, I do. You turn into really a fucking sissy and man. So, because I did that, but... Have you been to the doctors at all in the last few months? Dude, I don't fucking get sick, man. Yeah, I figured that, but... I don't you know, fucking... You know, I, dude, my immune system's on fucking level. My problem is, I think, because I've got... My shit's fucking legit, dude. I think it's got these three fuck. buckets of disease that live in my house. Yeah, that that's... go true. to kinder and school and stuff, so I think that's where it comes from a lot of the time, but... I don't, have, I don't fuck with getting sick there. <laughs> Let me tell you that. I don't fucking get down with that. Well, when you go to the doctors now... I they, don't... They want to do a, I don't, man. So I don't have to. Well, anyway, when when a normal person does... Okay. Um, they do a... You've got to do a phone consult... But really? I had lost my voice, so I couldn't talk to, to them on the phone. Him. So yeah, I called. Did you hit them on they, the MSN? They don't have, they don't have anything like that. It had to be phone. So I called them, and they yeah. kept going uh, hello. They're going hello, hello, hello. How bad was your voice, up. dude? How bad was your voice? I was like, could you make sound? I could whisper, and that's it. And I don't know if you, nah, not even that. Really? Like full whisper. What the like, fuck? When you talk to someone, how could you phone, breathe? Like, you couldn't get any noise through anything out of your face. I couldn't get any noise through anything out of my face. I should just play the didgeridoo. Why don't you do this? <laughs> could you do that? Could you rise around? I could have done that, but then what? Just say it quicker. And you do that for two, two times. You like <laughs> for yes and <laughs> nah, not, not quite no, to that extent. One. But so having to do, try to do a phone consult with that was just driving me insane. But cool. Yeah, so any, be wait, useless. Okay, so you couldn't do a phone consult. So what? What was wrong with you? I had no voice. I had. Um, a uh, throat infection. A throat infection? Yep. It was gross. It sounds fucking terrible. It was gross. It's almost as gross as baby teeth, but not quite. So how, did, how does it go away? Did you get some... Yeah, antibiotics and heaps of... Like, oh, dude. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> it was awesome. Ew. Other than being sick... Could and... you breathe? Was it like a, not, like a hard to breathe thing? It wasn't hard to breathe. Couldn't swallow like food or anything. Oh, it was like the, the food hole. Yeah, not the, food hole. Not the breathe hole. No, food hole. Not the breathe hole. Okay. Yeah. And, um, yeah. So it was just, I pretty much spent like three days not talking, which was awesome. Mm. You know, it's like monks that do that. They swear to silence. They never, yeah. never talk to anyone. Yeah, they've all just got throat infections. <laughs> they think they're doing it for a spiritual reason. It's just because they, they just have a throat infection. Yeah. Like, oh my God. <laughs> just persisting because they're trying to do a phone consult to get the, the medicine. Did you get the do- fucking thing? Did doc- yeah. you get the fucking, the yeah. fucking, ah. the net? <laughs> the net of fucking... <laughs> the net from South Park. Mm. <laughs> well, you're stationed in Danang. <laughs> I think, nah, I probably should have done that. Have mm, yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. So what else have you been doing? Have you done anything good? Ah, uh, all right. Need to get a dog and feed it mushies. Oh, went out for fucking went out for uh, a bit of fucking recce. Oh, first cool. time going out in uh, out to a little. Re- Have you been out to a restaurant thing yet? No, I had to sign a fucking thing, right? <laughs> um, we had to sign a fucking thing for this, like yeah. where they and then you like your name and your numbers on this sheet, mm. and everyone in the restaurant had done it already. Yeah. In this like breakfast yeah. place. What makes sense? Yeah. But the chick like comes over and goes, "Hey, you just got to sign this in case you you know you get COVID nineteen and die." Yeah. We can call the other people and say, "Good news, you've yeah, got yeah. COVID nineteen and you're all dying." Yeah. But she just left like everyone's name and number, like phone numbers, sitting there on the table. I'm like, I could just like, 
um, take, take photos and hunt them down and skin them. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just like putting them at risk. That's probably their plan. <laughs> <laughs> so you're telling me they were hooking me up? Yeah, they were. They don't leave it out for anyone. They just all here go, this guy looks sketchy. This guy looks like he's going to skin some people. Let's fucking <laughs> sit back and watch. Exactly. No, it was really good. I got a, what I get? Like a chili avocado fucking thing. Uh, a chili and avocado thing. That yeah, sounds, what, sounds amazing. With eggs. Dude, it's with on, eggs and oh, with, with chili eggs. and avocado. So it said on the menu, chili and avocado thing with eggs. Nah, it said something else. Oh. But that's sort of what it, I'm, I'm summarizing the yeah. fucking experience. It was good, and I haven't had like in a coffee out of a mug, man, from a fucking place, and didn't have to fucking do any dishes, bro. That's what's up. It was fucking lo- what a lovely, lovely experience. That sounds awesome. I it's think a fucking I need treat, to, mate. I think I need to. It's experience. a fucking treat. Let's get two. Something, you know what you don't get? You know what you don't get that on lockdown, mate. You don't get that. Mm, I might just go there and order. Take the wife out for some chili. <laughs> have you taken the, have you taken the wife out for a bit of a fucking romancing or what? Nah, we've got too many kids for that. Yeah, you do. You need a, um, it's not a romantic meal when you sit there. in a room? It's not a romantic meal when you're sitting there trying to eat. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> just sit down! <laughs> no, um, Why don't you just leave the, <laughs> in the car with the window crack? Yeah, exactly. Power uh, move. Go to the casino. <laughs> just leave them at home and make the older one look after the... Yeah, if you park kid. in the underground car park, cars can get hot. Yeah, that's true. It's safety. And then, if you leave the car running in the underground car park, the fumes will make the kids sleepy. So they don't even oh, know yet. Hell <laughs> oh. oh, parenting. I can't wait. No, nah, it's, it's good, but it's the worst at the same time. <laughs> um, Where are we at? 22. Oh, go on. Yeah. What? Okay. Yeah. What do you got? Well, have you got anything else actually interesting to talk about? Literally or? fucking, I don't know. I just the fire's not really going that well, is it? Um, really fucking. It's fine. Well. Oh, it's, I mean, it's burning. It's not like... It's mm. not rip roaring or fucking on and popping. So you didn't put enough of your hopes and dreams in there as kindling. Dude, they fucking <laughs> go up, huh? <laughs> so, did you actually open the flu before? Yeah. Are you sure? I don't know. Dude, you've got the flu. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I can't, dude, I can't tell if it's the fucking circles that you want or the squares, bro. I don't know. I don't know. Circles or squares? Yeah, because there's an option. Like, it. Either the circles are... The pattern on the thingo is like the cat biscuit pattern that's on school shoes. Huh? What? The cat biscuit... Yeah, the little crisscross shape of like cat biscuits. That pattern on the thing. That'll probably do for this podcast. (laughs) Don't you know what I'm talking about? I know what you're talking about, cat biscuit. Yeah, but the pattern on on your flu, on the bit on the outside, is a heap of those. Hey man, let's um, finish this podcast. Nothing <laughs> is devolving. <laughs> it makes sense. How can you not look at that and think that? Fucking pretty easy, dude. <laughs> but it's the same pattern that was on, on school shoes and stuff. It always had that same on pattern. On school shoes. And yeah. cat biscuits are the same thing. Yeah, same thing. Bullshit. Yeah. So what I was thinking, you could probably, if you wore out your shoes, if your shoes wore out, you could, when that gets really hot, put your shoes on it and, and you screw that pattern back into it. For like when I go to school. Yeah, when you go to school. When you go back to school, <laughs> you can save money on school shoe repairs by fixing it on your stove. Dude, I like... Alright, thanks for the fucking... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are we even talking about? I don't know. I think I need sleep. <laughs> uh, um, yeah. Alright, that'll do. Uh, <laughs> that, is that over? Or I don't, I don't know what's going on. Keep swinging. So are you going to shill your jocks or what? Um, Mitch2020 at psdunderwear.com.au Sounds awesome. I'll save you 25%, which is a decent discount. I'll save 100% by just not wearing jocks. Or you, can, or you can fucking save 100%. <laughs> what you do, you just put, roll up a bit of toilet paper and put it in your ass crack as like tear-offs <laughs> so you don't have to keep replacing your jeans every day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, I think that's enough. Oh, my God. Bye. Man. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs>